Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this address using consistency deformation method. This is a statically indeterminate address. We need to find a degree of static indeterminacy. To find the internal degree of static indeterminacy, this is the formula. M is the number of the members. Let us count the members. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. J is the number of the joints. Let us count the joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For DSI, we will get a 0. Let us find the external static indeterminacy. R is the number of the reactions to be found. In the points A and D, there are hinged supports. In the hinged supports, there will be two reactions. And in the point C, there is a roller support. In the roller support, there will be only one reaction. 2 plus 2 plus 1, it is 5. Let us find a small r, that is the available equilibrium conditions. There are three conditions available. Sigma m is equal to 0, sigma v is equal to 0, and sigma h is equal to 0. For DSE, we will get a 2. So the degree of static indeterminacy of the truss is a 2. In this truss, we have only external degree of static indeterminacy. So out of these five reactions, we need to remove any two reactions. From the point A, I am going to remove the horizontal reaction HA and the vertical reaction VA. So we have to remove the hinged support from A. Here you can see that I have removed the hinged support. This structure is called released structure. Now let us draw the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there are two coordinates. They are HA and VA because we have removed both of them. Let us keep HA as the first coordinate and VA as the second coordinate. Let us assume that HA is acting towards the right side and VA is acting upwards. Finally, if we get any negative answer, that means our assumption is incorrect. Then we can change the direction. Since there are two coordinates, these are the two formulas we are going to use. In this truss, there is no external deflection. So delta 1 and delta 2 will be 0. So that we will get these two equations. HA is our first coordinate. So P1 will be HA. And VA is our second coordinate. So P2 will be VA. Then we have to make this a table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. Then we need to find the values of P, that is the member forces in the released structure. Before finding the member forces, we need to find the reactions. In the point D, there is a hinged support. So there will be two reactions, one vertical and one horizontal. In the point C, there is a roller support. We know that in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. Here there is only horizontal reaction. Using this rule, we can find VD. VD is acting upwards, so it will be positive. And this is acting downwards, so it will be negative. For VD, we will get 48 kN. No need to do this step. Except VD and 48, there is no other vertical load or vertical reaction. VD should be equal to 48. This load is acting downwards, so VD should be acting upwards. To find HD, let us take a moment about to see. HD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative, and the distance is 3, so 3 HD. This load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it is also negative, and the distance is 4. For VD, there is no perpendicular distance, so we should not consider this one. For HD, we will get a negative value. That means the assumed direction is incorrect. HD is actually acting towards the right side. So we need to change the direction. Here I have changed the direction. Except these two, there is no other horizontal load or horizontal reaction. 
so hd and hc will be having the same value but they will be in the opposite direction hd is acting towards the right side so hc should be acting towards the left side now let us find the member forces in the joint a we can apply the rule sigma v is equal to zero then we will come to know that the member force ae is zero then we can apply the rule sigma h is equal to zero then we will know that the member force in ab is also zero otherwise no need to do this if you know the shortcuts how to find the zero force members you can easily find them if you do not know i have already made a video regarding this you can see the description and click that link and watch the video in the joint p we can apply the rule sigma h is equal to zero already we know that the member force ab is zero then we will come to know that the member force at bc also zero now let us take the joint b and find the member force be when we take the joint b no need to take the zero member forces let us apply this rule and find fbe fbe is acting upwards so it will be positive this is acting downwards so it will be negative for fbe we will get 48 kN now let us take the joint d in the joint d first let us apply this rule this is acting upwards so it will be positive fcd is acting downwards so it will be negative for fcd we will get 48 kN now let us apply this rule this is acting towards the left side so it will be negative this is acting towards the right side so it will be positive for fde we will get 64 kilo newton now let us take the joint c before finding the member forces we need to find this angle let us keep this angle as theta let us take this triangle in this triangle let us apply tan theta formula that will be the opposite side 3 meter upon the adjacent side 4 meter so theta will be tan inverse 3 upon 4 in this way we will get 36.87 let us apply this rule this is acting towards the left side so it will be negative we have to resolve fce in the horizontal direction to keep it horizontal we need this angle so with the fce we have to multiply cos 36.87 since it is acting towards the left side it will be negative for fce we will get minus 80 kN. fcd we already calculated so no need to do that again let us apply the values of p now we need to find the values of k1 our first coordinate is ha to find the values of k1 we have to remove all of the loads from the truss and apply unit to load in the direction of ha when we do this we should not take va also here you can see that i have removed all of the loads from the truss and i have applied unit load in the direction of ha we have to find these three reactions except vd there is no vertical load or vertical reaction so vd will be zero or we can apply this rule using this rule for vd we will get a zero Using this rule, we can find HD. HD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 3. So 3 HD. For this unit load, there is no perpendicular distance and there is nothing else. So HD will be 0 except these two. There is no other horizontal load or horizontal reaction. So HA and HC should be having the same value 1. And both of them should be acting in the opposite direction otherwise we can use this rule and find hc in this truss except the members ab and bc all of the other members are zero force members if you wanted to know how to find zero force members very easily as i said earlier there is a link for the video in the description you can click the link and watch the video let us take the joint a and to find the member force in AP, both of these are acting towards the right side, so both of them will be positive. For FAB, we will get to minus 1. Now let us take the joint B and to find the member force in BC. This is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. 
and this is acting towards the right side so it will be positive for FAB we have got minus 1 in the previous step minus into minus it will become positive for FBC we will get a minus 1 let us enter the values of K1 now we are going to find the values of K2 to find the values of K2 we have to remove all of the loads and apply you need to load in the direction of VA also we should not consider HA you can see that I have removed all of the loads and I have applied unit to load in the direction of VA VA is acting upwards so VD should be acting downwards but both of them should be having the same value unity let us take a moment about C and find HD this unit load is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 8 HD is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so it will be negative and the perpendicular distance is 3 for this there is no perpendicular distance so we should not take this for HD we have got a positive value that means our assumption is correct HD is acting towards the left side but this assumption is incorrect if HD is acting towards the left side HC should be acting towards the right side but both of them should be having the same value BE is a zero force member let us take the joint A and find the member forces we have to find this angle we have already done that that is tan inverse 3 upon 4 we will get 36.87 this angle will be 90 minus 36.87 so that we will get 53.13 first we have to apply this rule because there will be only one unknown we have to resolve FAE in the vertical direction to keep it vertical we need 53.13 degree so with the FAE we have to multiply cos 53.13 it will be acting upwards so it will be positive the unit load is also acting upwards so that is also positive for FAE we will get minus 1.667 now let us apply this rule we have to resolve FAE in the horizontal direction to keep it horizontal we need this angle so with the FAE we have to multiply cos 36.87 it will be acting towards the right side so it will be positive FAB is also acting towards the right side so it is also positive just before we have found FAE we can apply that finally for FAB we will get 1.333 now let us take the joint B and find the member force in BC. This is acting towards the left side so it will be negative and this is acting towards the right side so it will be positive. FAB we have already found we can apply that. For FBC we will get 1.333. Now let us take the joint D. First let us apply this rule. Both of these are acting downwards so both of them are negative. For FCD we will get to minus 1. Now let us apply this rule. Both of these are acting towards the left side so both of them are negative. For FDE we will get to minus 2.667. Now let us take the joint C and find the member force in CE. We can apply this rule and easily find FCE. We have to resolve FCE in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical we need this angle. So with the FCE we have to multiply cos 53.13 it will be acting upwards so it will be positive FCD is acting upwards so it is also positive let us apply the value of FCD for FCE we will get 1.667 let us enter all of the values of K2 now we have to find the length of the members length of AB, BC and ED is 4 length of BE and CD is 3 to find the length of AE and CE we can use Pythagoras theorem root of 3 square plus 4 square we will get 5 meter let us enter all of the lengths then we need to find PK1L PK2L K1 square L K1 K2L K2 square L also we need to find the summation of them 
after adding we will get these using this formula we can find delta 1l using this we can find a delta 2l using this we can find a delta 1 1 using this we can find a delta 1 2 and delta 2 1 and finally using this we can find a delta 2 2 in the question nothing is mentioned about the area or the Young's modulus so we can assume that for all of the members area and Young's modulus are same in these two equations we can apply these so that we will get these two equations using your calculator we can solve these two equations so that we will get p1 and p2 we know that p1 is ha and p2 is va for both of them we have got positive values that means the assumptions are correct then using this formula we can find the real member forces if we get a positive value that means the forces are tensile and if we get a negative value that means the forces are compressive here you can see that I have entered all of the member forces in the truss. Let us take the joint D. In the joint D there is no inclined member. So we can easily find VD. This force is acting downwards. So VD should be acting upwards. This is acting towards the right side. So HD should be acting towards the left side. Then we can apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0 and find HC. Otherwise, there is one more idea. This angle is 36.87. HD will be equal to 37.97 into cos 36.87. We will get 30.37. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.